It's easy for us to forget, bumping along through life day by day, what we as human beings are capable of, the depths to which we're prepared to sink sometimes. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome to today's episode of Fresh. I recently visited the Jewish Holocaust Museum in Sydney. The displays and stories were confronting, but the most compelling part for me was talking with one of the guides, a Jewish woman now well into her 80s. She had a unique perspective on the Jewish Holocaust of World War II because she was there. She told me what it was like when she arrived at Auschwitz, she, her mother and her sister. They were all in a line. She was sent to the left, her mother and her sister to the right. She never saw them again. As I looked into her eyes, well, the statistics, terrible as they are, they're one thing. But when the reality of what happened is reduced down to that one personal story, it's like zooming in and you couldn't help but be moved by the first-hand telling of this terrible atrocity. Anyhow, I asked her, why do you do this? Why do you come to the museum and talk to people like me? She answered simply and plainly, I want people to know, I just want them to know. That place was like a mirror reflecting the darkest part of the human soul. Look, it's great to celebrate human achievement, but I wonder if it isn't just as important sometimes to remember the darkness, to see and accept human depravity for what it is, to come to grips with what we're capable of doing. John chapter 8, verse 12. Later, Jesus talking to the people again, he said, I I am the light of the world. Whoever follows will never live in darkness. They will have the light that gives life. That's God's word, fresh for you today. And that light is something that your enemy, the devil, wants to snuff out in your life. He wants to lead you astray out of the light and back into the darkness. That's what our latest life application booklet is all about. It's called Defeating the Devil in the Wilderness. To request your free copy, head across to ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see that free offer toward the top of the homepage. Again, that web address is ChristianityWorks.com. May you be blessed as you receive God's Word.